So by the mercy of Guru Garanga, today we went to some very special places in Navadweep Kham. Some of my favorite places actually. First we went to Prodamaya in Paramatala. There's a huge banyan tree there. I remember when I was little I, I really liked it because there's a whole bazaar under the banyan tree. And it's the place of Yoga Maya and also Maha Maya. So us as Vaishnavas, we don't often worship Maya Devi. But this is one place where we go and we uh, chant the song by Bhakti Otako, Kula Devi Yoga Maya Mara Kripa Kori, where we're begging the mercy of Yoga Maya and Maha Maya, that Maha Maya doesn't bind us to this world, and that we can be fully in Maya, but in Maya, in Yoga Maya, be absorbed. Because the nature of the soul, the nature of the Jiva is to always uh, be bewildered by Maya, in a sense. So we can choose. We can either be bound by Maha Maya, which is the Maya in this world, which is the one we don't want to be bound by that causes all kinds of suffering. That's why she has all the tridents and, and the spears and stuff for poking us and tigers. But then also we can be bound by Yoga Maya and that we can forget the opulence of Krishna and we can have a beautiful lokic relationship with Krishna. So today we went to Proto Maya first, then we went to the Samadhi of Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj who is a very very special person in our Sampradaya. Uh, he was the one who actually established where is Shumayapur Dham. He was the most respected. He lived to like 144 years old. He was the most respected Vaishnava um, in, in, in his time. And he's the one who said, this is the birthplace of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and what is established, really. Because previously people thought it was over here in Navadvi, not in Mayapur. So then when Bhak, after he said that this is the place of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's birth, Shri Bhakti Nur Thakur, uh, he got some old maps from the British and also was able to prove it and establish it. So we're very grateful to Jagannath Das Bhavan Maharaj for so many things. He's one of the mo most prominent, uh, one of the many prominent Acharyas in our Sampradaya. After that, we went to Nirdoy Ghat. I remember one time Sh uh, Srila Gurudev was watching these drama performances in Vrindavan in the installation in Ananda Dham and uh, Gurudev wanted to hear the pastimes of Nimai Sanyas about when Sri Nimai left his home and took Sanyas and they performed it very well. Gurudev was watching and he was crying and crying and crying. His clothes were all completely wet uh, when watching and the person, they have like an expert singer on the side and people acting and doing the pastimes and then very older gentleman was, was singing and Gurudev said, oh, you have my invitation. I want to take you to Navadvip and I'll take you to Nir I remember that was one of the first times I heard was Gurudev. Out of all the places in Navadvip, he wanted to bring this very expert uh, singer and Brajabasi to Nir Doigat. Nir Doigat means the place of no mercy. We know Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Param Dayalu, the supreme source of all mercy. But in order for him to give mercy to everyone, he also had to become hard. He also had to uh, be merciless in a way. So Nir Doigat, in the middle of the night, he left Vishnu Priya, he left his mother and jumped in the Ganga and swam all the way across. So sometimes in the path of bhakti we need to be hard and sometimes we need to be soft. We need to be very like we hear Giriraj Govardhan, it's like a rock, very hard, hard to penetrate, hard, hard to come inside. But inside very soft, very sweet, very tender. So to Maya in this world, sometimes we need to be hard, cut, strong renunciation, which can be very painful. Varagi bhakti rasam but also, the reason for this hardness is to allow space for the softness, for the sweet sweetness. So Mahaprabhu, he swam across the, this uh, uh, this sinkhat, this place where we went, where we visited today, and he had a deep anurag, he had a deep passion, attachment to see Radha and Krishna to enter into that mood. So we pray for Mahaprabhu that one day we can also follow in his footsteps and uh, be able to taste the rasa that he's tasting and have a hard side to. Uh, the material world. So those are the special places we went today on Akadashi, very special day. <laughs>
What else can I do but gag it every moment? Vikrama is going on very nicely. And uh, today we went to Rudradi on the way we saw Rodamatala. And uh, very ecstatic Kirtan was there. I was very happy. I saw a very big Shivalinga, Vridha Shiva was there. Also the place of uh, Yoga Maya Devi. And uh, we went to see the deity of Gauranga, which is worshipped by Vishnu Priya. Not everyone went there, but I also went there. Then we went to the place of Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Samadhi and Bhajan Kuti. And uh, devotees were very happy to see the lifelike uh, deity of Sri Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj Samadhi. Later on, uh, different speakers like Shadar Maharaj, Ban Maharaj, Kirti Maharaj, they all described the glories of Jagannath Das Babaji Maharaj, his teachings in grief, importance of Yoga Maya and how Mahamaya binds us. Later on, we proceeded to the <coughs> Nidaya Ghat, where Mahaprabhu made his heart very hard. And there, devotees heard about the glories of four sampradayas and the importance of four Vaishnava sampradayas and also how Shakaracharya philosophy is not correct. So, devotees took bath in the Ganges River there uh, and then the whole Parikrama party well, uh, came back. So, we had a big banner there uh, saying Sri Gaudi Vedanta Swami the Crust and uh, Sri Narayan Goswami Maharaj Parikrama. So, everything is going on very nicely and devotees are very ecstatic. Very good. So what do you want to know about again? Parakram. How was your Parakram today, Ram? Where did you go? Ecstatic. You know, we went to a uh, place of Protomaya, we went to Jagannath Das Babaji's place like that. I mean, I'm not a panda or anything like that, but um, the guitar was beautiful, the association was beautiful, the kirtan was wonderful. How was the mood, Ram? How was the mood? The mood was like, I think the mood came from the spiritual world and it descended. And oh, it was such a wonderful, wonderful, you know, actually, if we could be in the moment and not have to go forward or back, no past, no future, just be there, that would be it. Stay in that moment. Sachidananda. Sachidananda go Hari Ki And what about Jag Jagan Mohan's got to say a few words? No, I've been in the kitchen peeling potatoes, so, you know, I'm just meditating on how beautiful it is in Navadri, Bengal. Very fortunate to be in the Holy Dharm. Can't put a price on that, and that's the ultimate package tour coming here. Five days serving the Vaishnavas. You know, can't imagine the benefit we're getting. We're very fortunate. So, uh, thanks to all the devotees for coming. Get a chance to do some service, rack up some security. <laughs> Maybe next life, you know, be able to perform a bit more devotional service.